Fabio Fognini, born May 24, 1987, is an Italian professional tennis player. He has a career-high ADP ranking of world number 9 achieved on July 15, 2019. Fognini's most successful surface is red clay, where he has won eight of his nine ATP singles titles, most notably at the 2019 Monte Carlo Masters. He also reached the quarterfinals of the 2011 French Open. Together with Simone Bolelli, Fognini won the 2015 Australian Open Doubles Championship, becoming the first all-Italian men's pair to win a Grand Slam title in the Open era. Early life Fognini was born to Silvana and Fulvio, a businessman, and has a younger sister. He began playing tennis when he was four years old and is also a fan of football, supporting Inter Milan and Genoa CFC. He also enjoys motorbike racing and is a fan of Valentino Rossi. Fognini speaks Italian, English, Spanish, and French, and his nickname is Fogna. Career juniors as a junior, Fognini posted a singles win-loss record of 72-36. He achieved a combined ranking of number 8 in the world in May 2004, reaching the quarterfinals of both the Australian Open and French Open. 2004-2006 Fognini began his professional career by playing a variety of futures and challenger tournaments, winning his first futures title in 2005 at Spain No. 1 and another at Italy No. 9. In 2005, he also finished runner-up at Italy No. 3 and qualified for his first ADP Challenger tournament at Palermo. During 2006, Fognini had moderate success at Challengers and, after qualifying, made his debut on the ATP World Tour at Buenos Aires. He was defeated in the first round by former World No. 1 Carlos Moya, the eventual champion. 2007 Top 100 in 2007, Fognini made some real progress on the ATP Tour, notably when he qualified for the 2007 French Open to make his first appearance in a Grand Slam event. He lost in the first round to world number 35 Juan Monaco in five sets. In addition, he had a fantastic tournament at the 2007 Rogers Masters in Montreal, Canada. Having qualified for the tournament, he defeated Peter Polanski in the first round, before taking out the 13th seed Andy Murray in straight sets. Fognini was halted by world number one Roger Federer in the third round. On the ATP Challenger circuit, Fognini made the finals in Santiago, San Remo, and Firth, losing in three set battles each time. Partnering Federico Gill, he also lost in the doubles final of the Firth Challenger. He finished the year ranked in the top 100 for the first time at number 94. 2008, first doubles final Fognini lost a five-set first-round encounter against Michael Russell in the 2008 Australian Open. During the South American clay swing, he reached the quarterfinals of Vina Del Mar, defeating second-seed clay court specialist Juan Ignacio Cella in the first round and the semifinals of Costa do Sapi. After missing the 2008 French Open due to injury problems, Fognini reached the semifinals of both Warsaw and UMAG, beating former world number one and French Open champion Carlos Moya, whilst also winning the Turin and Genova challengers, further enhancing his clay pedigree. 2009, San Benedetto title In April 2009, Fognini reached the third round of the 2009 Monte Carlo Masters as a qualifier, upsetting Tomas Burdick, after losing the first set 1-6, and 14th seed Marin Cilic, for the loss of only two games. Fognini then played a typically topsy-turvy match with world number 4 Andy Murray, losing in two tight sets after being up 5-0 in the first set. In July, Fognini won the San Benedetto Challenger title defeating Christian Villagran in the final. 2010, 50 wins a remarkable win during this season was against the 13th seed Gail Monfils at the 2010 French Open by also coming from two sets to love down in a match that spanned two days. In June 2010, Fognini followed up his vein of good form as he defeated Fernando Verdasco, the eighth seed, in the first round of Wimbledon without dropping serve the entire match. 2011, major quarterfinal in 2011 Fognini achieved a number of breakthroughs. He reached the quarterfinals of a Grand Slam event for the first time at the 2011 French Open. He defeated Denis Istomin in the first round and qualifier Stefan Robert in the second. 
In the third round, Fognini beat Guillermo Garcia Lopez, the 30th seed, in four sets to advance to his first Grand Slam fourth round. Here, he made the quarterfinals in dramatic fashion as he beat Spaniard Albert Montaigne's in a match lasting four hours and 22 minutes. Barely able to walk at the end, Fognini eventually prevailed and clinched the epic match 11-9 in the fifth set. After the match, he described his run at the French Open as a little dream, maintaining that he would love to play the next match, even if I'm only at 50%. He was due to face world number 2 Novak Djokovic in the quarterfinals but, prior to the match, he announced that he had made the difficult decision to withdraw on doctor's advice that it would be dangerous to play. Nonetheless, Fognini became the first Italian man in the French Open quarterfinals since 1995 and the first to reach that stage at a Grand Slam since 1998, his achievements saw him rise to a then career high singles ranking of world number 32. With Simone Bolelli, Fognini reached the semi finals of the 2011 U.S. Open men's doubles. 2012, first ATP finals Fognini and Joe Wilfried Sanga in 2012 French Open after numerous ATP semifinal appearances, Fognini finally reached his first career final at Bucharest in April 2012, ousting fifth seed Marcos Bagdadis and sixth seed Andreas Seppi along the way. He finished runner-up to top seed Gillis Simon. At the 2012 French Open, he was once again the subject of much drama, saving two match points while battling past the seeded Victor Troiki in five sets to advance to the third round for the third successive year. He subsequently lost to world number no. 5 Joe Wilfried Sanga in a match with considerable shot-making flair and variety. In the Croatia Open, Fabio lost to defending champion Alexander Dolgopolov of Ukraine in the second round. Fognini began his grass season by reaching the quarterfinals of Eastbourne, defeating fourth seed Bernard Tomic along the way, and falling to eventual tournament winner Andy Roddick in a tight three set match. At Wimbledon, he defeated experienced grass quarter Michael Lodra in the first round and again lost to the eventual tournament winner, Roger Federer, in the second round. In the London 2012 Olympics, Fognini was drawn against Novak Djokovic in the first round. He valiantly took the first set after being down 3-5 and saving three set points, before finally succumbing in three sets, starting the North American summer outdoor hardcourt season by qualifying for both the Toronto and Cincinnati Masters, Fognini went on to reach the third round of the U.S. Open, a career-best performance. In the first round, he ousted Edouard Roger Vaseline in a trademark five-setter, coming back from two sets down. The second round was a routine straight sets win over Guillermo Garcia Lopez. Fognini's run again ended at the hands of crowd favorite Andy Roddick in a dramatic match, in which he notably outaced the American in four sets. Roddick had announced after his first round win that he was retiring upon conclusion of the tournament, adding to the drama. The start of the indoor hardcourt season saw Fognini reach his second final of the year at St. Petersburg, finishing runner up to Martin Klizen. 2013 ATP titles and top 20 ranking Fognini was defeated by Roberto Bautista Agut in five sets in the first round of the 2013 Australian Open. He and Bolelli embarked on another deep Grand Slam run in the doubles, reaching the semi finals, where they lost to the world number one pair, Bob and Mike Bryan. He reached his first singles quarterfinal of the season at Buenos Aires, losing to top seed David Ferrer in straight sets, whilst winning the doubles alongside Bolelli. The next week, Fognini achieved a career-best performance at ATP 500 events with a semi-final showing in Acapulco, defeating Stanislaus Wawrinka along the way and again losing to Ferrer, but this time taking a set. Dot. Just over a week later, Fognini set up a clash with world number no. 1 Novak Djokovic. After defeating Alyaj Badene for the second time in three weeks to reach the second round of the Indian Wells Masters. After being bageled in the first, Fognini wildly celebrated upon winning his first game in the second, heroically taking the set from two to four down. He subsequently lost the third. In Miami, Fognini was seated at a Masters event for the first time in his career, earning a bye to the second round. He defeated Michael Lodra and lost to Ferrer again in the third round. 
The start of the European clay season saw Fognini gain another top 20 victory, defeating fellow Italian Andreas Seppi in the first round of the Monte Carlo Masters in a typically tumultuous affair with an almost complete lack of momentum. He carried on his rich vein of form to straight set both Albert Ramos and number 4 seed Tomas Burdick, his second victory over the Czech in Monte Carlo, to reach his first career quarterfinal in a Masters event. Here, Fognini played another amazing match too beat Richard Gasquet, his second top 10 victory in a row, in straight sets to reach the semifinals of a Masters for the first time, projecting his ranking to a new career high of world number 24. In the semifinals, he failed to gain any real rhythm, losing to world number 1 Djokovic. In Madrid, Fognini was involved in another highly unorthodox match, losing in a final set tiebreak to Mikhail Yuzhny in the first round. He served for the match in the third set and three match points. Fognini then lost nine points in a row, only to save two match points himself. In the tiebreak, he went up a mini-break, lost five points in a row, won four in a row and lost. At the French Open, he lost in the third round to eventual champion Rafael Nadal. Fognini began his grass court season at the 2013 Aegon International held at Eastbourne, where he was seeded eighth. He defeated Griga Zemelja and Martin Klizen, both from a set down, before falling to Ivan Dodig in the quarterfinals. At Wimbledon, Fognini lost in the first round to Jurgen Melzer, after leading by a set and a break. At the 2013 Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart, Fognini reached his third career final, defeating top seed and home favorite Tommy Haas en route. He won his maiden title by beating second seed, Philip Kohlschreiber, in three sets. The following week, after an outstanding performance at 2013 International German Open, Fognini improved his winning streak to 10 wins in a row, entering the ATP Top 20 for the first time, also regaining the Italian number one spot. He defeated Albert Ramos, Marcel Granollers, and hometown hero Tommy Haas for the second time in two weeks to reach the semifinals. Here, Fognini beat Nicolas Almagro in straight sets to reach his second ATP World Tour final in a row the first one in an ATP 500 tournament. He won the title by beating qualifier Federico Del Bonis in three sets, recovering from 1-4 down in the second set and saving three match points in the second set tiebreak. He reached his third tour final in as many weeks at UMAG, defeating Themo de Backer, Martin Klizen and Gael Monfils en route. The latter saw Fognini serving for the match having won the first five games, then losing six straight games, and then winning in a tiebreak. His 13-match winning streak was ended in the final by Tommy Robredo, whilst his ranking rose to a new career high of world number 16. Seeded number 14 in Cincinnati, Fognini was down a set and four games to Roddick Stoponik. He proceeded to mount a comeback to four all, and serving to stay in the match, he served two double faults, received a point penalty for ball abuse and then casually committed consecutive foot faults to get broken to love and lose the match. At the Asian hardcourt leg, Fognini reached the quarterfinals of Beijing, defeating resurgent veterans Tommy Robredo and Leighton Hewitt, the latter for the loss of only two games. In the quarters, he was dominating world number two Rafael Nadal by a set and three love, before eventually losing in three sets. In the following weeks, he again defeated Robredo en route to the third round of the Shanghai Masters and reached the quarterfinals of Vienna and Valencia. 2014, third ATP title Fognini in 2014 Wimbledon at the Australian Open, Fognini was seeded 15th. He reached a career-best performance of the fourth round, defeating Alex Bogomolov Jr., Jarko Niminen and Sam Querrey, before falling to three-time defending champion Novak Djokovic. As the top seed at the Chile Open in Vina del Mar, he reached his first singles final of the season and fourth in a row in clay tournaments, defeating Ayaj Badene, Jeremy Chardy and third seed Nicolas Almagro en route. The latter was a classically unorthodox affair, with Fognini leading 5-2 in the final set, squandering two match points only to eventually win in a tiebreak. He defeated Leonardo Mayer in the final, converting his fifth match point for his third career title. He then won the quarterfinal Davis Cup rubber for Italy against Great Britain, defeating Andy Murray on clay in straight sets. 
This took Fabio's record on clay to 19-1 to since the French Open and resulted in yet another leap in the rankings to a new career high of world number 14. Fognini was fined a then-record $27,500, £21,600, at Wimbledon for a series of offenses during a first-round match, 2015. Australian Open doubles win Fognini started his 2015 season at the Hopman Cup, partnering Flavio Panetta. Italy failed to reach the final, finishing at the bottom of their group. The following week, he played at the Apia International Sydney as the top seed, but was unlucky to draw defending champion Juan Martín del Potro, who was returning from an 11-month injury layoff in his first match. He lost in three sets. Fognini won his first Grand Slam at the 2015 Australian Open doubles alongside Simone Bolelli, with a straight sets win over Pierre Hughes Herbert and Nicolas Mahut in the final. He beat Rafael Nadal in the semi finals of the Rio Open before losing in the final to David Ferrer. In April, he beat Rafael Nadal again in the third round of the Barcelona Open, but he again lost in the next round to Pablo Andujar. In May, after defeating Steve Johnson and Gregor Dimitrov, he lost to Tomas Burdick in the third round of the Rome Masters. At the German Open in Hamburg, Fognini reached the final, but was beaten 5-7, 5-7 by Rafael Nadal, in a match that lasted 2 hours and 34 minutes and saw 12 breaks of serve in the 24 games played. At the U.S. Open, Fognini beat Steve Johnson and Pablo Cuevas to advance to the third round where he caused a major upset, beating Rafael Nadal in five sets, coming from two sets and a break of serve down in both the third and fourth sets. In that match, Nadal won the first two sets and previously had been 151-0 in Grand Slam matches that he led two sets to none. Earning 70 winners, Fognini ended up beating Nadal in five sets. He subsequently lost his fourth round match against Feliciano Lopez. 2016, fourth title in Rio Olympics Fognini won his fourth ADP title at July's 2016 Croatia Open at UMAG. He also reached the third round of the 2016 Rio Olympics where he pushed the then world number two and defending Olympic champion, Andy Murray, to three sets. 2017, fifth title, Tournament suspension Fognini went to the semifinals of Miami before losing in straight sets to Rafael Nadal. He rounded off strong finishes in the clay court season, including a defeat of world number one, Andy Murray. At Wimbledon, Fognini reached the third round, where he faced Murray again. This time Murray won in four sets, despite Fognini leading 5-1 in the fourth set. Fognini also captured the trophy in Gestad over German qualifier Yannick Hanfman. At the U.S. Open, after a first-round loss to Stefano Travaglia, Fognini was immediately suspended from the tournament for unsportsmanlike conduct, specifically three violations including using misogynistic language towards the female umpire. This caused him to default his third-round doubles match with partner Simone Bolelli. On October 11, the Grand Slam board provisionally suspended Fognini for two majors and fined him US$96,000 for a major offense of aggravated behavior. The fine will be halved and the ban of two majors will be lifted if good behavior is maintained through 2019. At the St. Petersburg Open, Fognini reached the final by defeating top seed Roberto Bautista Agut in the semifinal. He lost in the final to Demir Jumhur in three sets, 2018, 8 ATP Tour title Fabio Fognini serving in his semi-final match against Daniil Medvedev at the 2018 Sydney International Fognini started his 2018 season at the Sydney International, where he reached the semi-finals and was defeated by the eventual champion, Daniil Medvedev in three sets despite being up a set and a break. At the 2018 Australian Open, he reached the fourth round, losing to Tomas Burdick in straight sets. During the South American clay court swing, Fognini played Argentina Open, losing the first round to Leonardo Mayer. He then won three three-setters in Rio Open before crashing out to Fernando Verdasco in the semifinals. At the Brazil Open in Sao Paulo, Fognini beat Dominguez, Garcia Lopez, and Cuevas to reach the final. He then came from one set down to beat Nicholas Jerry and win his first title in 2018. 
Due to his strong performance in South America, Fognini rose to number 19 in the ATP ranking, his best in more than three years. In Rome, after defeating 6 seed Dominic Thiem, Fognini won the first set against seven-time champion Rafael Nadal before losing in three sets. He was defeated in the fourth round of the French Open by third seed Marin Cilic in five sets. Fognini won his second title of the year at the Swedish Open in Bastad. The following week, as the top seed at the Swiss Open, Fognini exited the tournament early. He then traveled to Mexico to compete in the Los Cabos Open. Despite having little preparation on hard courts leading into the tournament, Fognini managed to win the title after defeating world number 4 Juan Martín del Potro in the final. Fognini's unique hairstyle he wore throughout the tournament garnered attention with some labeling it a lucky charm. During the autumn, the Italian reached the final of the Chengdu Open where he held four championship points against world number 123 Bernard Tomic. Fognini was however unable to convert and lost the final in a third-set tiebreaker. In his next tournament he reached the semifinals of Beijing, but was forced to withdraw due to an ankle injury. He subsequently withdrew from the Shanghai Masters due to the same injury. After the most decorated season of his career in terms of titles won, Fognini ended the year at his then-career high ranking of number 13. 2019 Monte Carlo champion, world number 9 Fognini at the 2019 French Open Fognini entered the Monte Carlo Masters on a five-match losing streak. His poor form led him to contemplate surgery for recurring ankle and elbow injuries, the Italian was quoted saying during an interview with Gazzetta dello Sport I am not confident and I am sad about the lack of results. In the first round, Fognini saved five break points down a set and one break against Andre Rublev before recovering to win the match. In his next three matches Fognini defeated world number 3 Alexander Zverev, world number 13 Borna Cioric, once again, after being down a set and a break, and world number 2 and 3-time defending champion Rafael Nadal to reach his maiden Masters 1000 final. By defeating Nadal, Fognini became only the fourth player to defeat the Spaniard three times on a clay court. Following his victories in Rio de Janeiro and Barcelona in 2015, he defeated Dusan Lajovic in the final in straight sets, winning the biggest title of his career and becoming the first Italian to win a Masters 1000 title. Fognini extended his winning streak to seven matches at the Madrid Masters before losing to Dominic Thiem in the third round. At the French Open, Fognini reached the fourth round where he lost to Zverev in four sets. Following the tournament, Fognini entered into the world's top ten for singles for the first time in his career. He became the oldest player to break into the top ten since the establishment of ATP rankings in 1973. Following his third-round defeat at Wimbledon to Tennis Sandgren, Fognini was fined $3,000, £2,396, after he said, during an on-court outburst, that Wimbledon should be bombed, 2020-2021. Two Australian Open fourth rounds Fognini reached the fourth round at the Australian Open, beating Riley Opelka after coming back from two sets to Love Down, Jordan Thompson, again in five sets, and Guido. Pella he lost in the fourth round to Tenny Sandgren. In November 2020, Fognini teamed up with new coach Alberto Mancini. Fognini reached the fourth round of the 2021 Australian Open for the fourth time, this time beating Pierre Hughes Herbert in straight sets, Salvatore Caruso in a narrow fifth set tiebreak, and home favorite and 21st seed Alex de Menor. He lost to Rafael Nadal in straight sets. The Caruso match was notable for an argument the pair had in which Fognini accused Caruso of being lucky. Fognini failed to defend his title in Monte Carlo, but still reached the quarterfinals, beating Mayamir Kekmanovic, Jordan Thompson and Filip Krajinovic before losing to Kaspar Ruud in straight sets. At the 2021 Barcelona Open, Fognini was defaulted during his second round match against Bernabe Zapata Morales for verbal abuse towards a line judge after being called for a foot fault. At the 2021 French Open, Fognini reached the third round for the ninth time, where he was beaten in straight sets by Federico Delbonis. At the 2021 Wimbledon Championships, he also reached the third round where he lost to fifth seed Andre Rublev. 
2022, record 400 singles career win, ATP 500 doubles title in Indian Wells he recorded his 392 win making him the player with most wins of any Italian male player. At the 2022 French Open he defeated Alexei Poprin which put him one win away from his 400th career win. At the 2022 Hamburg European Open he reached the second round defeating Ayash Badene to earn his 400th career win. He became only the 14th active player to win 400 matches and the first Italian man in the Open era with 400 tour-level wins followed by Adriano Panatta with 391 wins and by Andreas Seppi with 386 wins, who was the second most among active Italians, 2023-2024, loss of form. Out of top 100, first semi-final in a year Fognini at the 2023 Swiss Open Gestadt he fell out of the top 100 after withdrawing from the 2023 Monte Carlo Masters where he was awarded a wild card. He received a wild card for his home Masters in Rome, where he defeated Andy Murray and upset 30th seed Mayamir Kekmanovic to record his first two wins on clay at a Masters level for the season. In the 2023 U.S. Open qualifying competition, he lost in the first round to Jakub Mensik. He also received a wild card for the Shanghai Masters. In November 2023, he reached his first ATP semifinal of the season, and first since April 2022 in Mets also as a wild card defeating previous year's runner-up Alexander Bublik after saving two match points in a match with two tiebreaks, and defending champion and compatriot Lorenzo Sonigo. He won the Valencia Challenger over Roberto Bautista Agut, a final in which two former top 10 players met for the first time since Guillermo Canas beat Nicolas Lepenti in Montevideo in 2006, he received a wild card for the 2024 BNP Paribas Open and defeated Bernabe Zapata Morales in the first round. In the beginning of the 2024 clay court season he qualified at the 2024 Grand Prix Hassan II and defeated Hugo Gaston and top seed Laszlo Jair to reach the quarterfinals. Davis Cup Fognini guided Italy into the quarterfinals of the 2013 Davis Cup World Group, defeating Ivan Dodig in the fifth and decisive rubber against Croatia. It was the first time Italy had reached that stage since 1998. He also guided Italy past Argentina to the quarterfinals the following year, winning both singles rubbers against Juan Monaco and Carlos Berloque and the doubles rubber, partnering Simone Bolelli, dot, in the quarterfinals in Naples against Great Britain. Fognini equaled the tie at 2-2 after defeating reigning Wimbledon champion Andy Murray in a straight sets win, after defeating James Ward two days previously, proving vital to Italy making the semi-finals with an eventual 3-2 victory. This was only the second time Murray had lost a singles rubber in the Davis Cup, after his first appearance ever in 2005, dot, in the semi-final against Switzerland he lost both his singles rubbers to Roger Federer and Stanislas Wawrinka. Equipment and Fashion Fognini currently uses the Babolat Pure Drive racket strung with Babolat RPM blast strings. His grip is Babolat versus Original. In November 2016, he moved from Adidas Apparel to Hydrogen, Italian leading luxury sportswear firm. In January 2017, Fognini signed a three year shoe supply agreement with ASICS. In 2018, Fognini and his wife Flavia Panetta signed to become ambassadors of the Emporio Armani collection. From January 2019 onwards he wore the bold designs of Emporio Armani EA7 sportswear on court, style of play a clay court specialist, Fognini is known for his streaky temperament and remarkable penchant for swearing, as well as his flair, speed, and movement on court. He has been known to lose his cool on occasion. He famously lost his cool and blew a 3-0 lead in the final set against Andy Murray at the 2016 Olympics. He was thrown out of the 2017 U.S. Open over obscene remarks made to a female umpire. Fognini has also drawn criticism for shouting at his opponents at key times when they are about to make a crucial shot. He holds the record for committing the most foot faults while still winning a match, a grand total of 12, including double faulting due to consecutive foot faults. Fognini's serve is relatively underpowered and hardly a trademark weapon, but he puts emphasis on precision and placement, while also having the ability to hit above 130 miles per hour on occasion. Known for his baseline play and big ground strokes despite his average stature, one of his signature shots is his off forehand, which he uses to great effect. 
His tactics usually consist of a serve out wide, drawing a weak return, setting Fognini up to hit a clean winner off the forehand side. He also uses the backhand down the line frequently, often in key moments. Personal life Since 2014, Fognini has been in a relationship with Italian tennis compatriot Flavia Panetta, from Brindisi, a retired player who won the 2015 U.S. Open singles title. The couple were engaged in 2015 and married in Astuni on June 16, 2016. Their son was born in 2017. Their second child, a daughter, was born in 2019. In 2021, Panetta gave birth to their second daughter in Barcelona, Spain. In October 2020, Fognini tested positive for COVID-19 and recovered. He is a fan of Inter Milan Football Club and Genoa CFC due to his surname. He has been called Fogna, sewer in Italian, since childhood.